Adidas, Borat, and a whole bunch of presidents are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is November 3rd, 2022. It is the 307th day of the year. There are 58 days left in 2022. It is the 44th Thursday in the 44th week and the 43rd day of fall. You got 48 days until winter. If today's your birthday, you're still a Scorpio. Congratulations. Today is World Jellyfish Day. On November 3rd, World Jellyfish Day celebrates this invertebrate that has been on Earth for millions of years. The day also encourages us to learn more about these unique aquatic animals. Despite its name, jellyfish aren't actually fish. That's because a fish anatomy centers around a spine. A jellyfish doesn't have a spine. In fact, a jellyfish doesn't have gills, a brain, a heart, bones, or blood. And technically, it doesn't have lungs. It absorbs oxygen through its skin. The body of a jellyfish is called a bell. Their tentacles contain stingers, which protect them from prey. I've been stung by jellyfish at least four times, maybe five. It's one of those things that happens when you grow up near the beach. It's eventually gonna happen. Some jellyfish can still sting after they're dead. Did you know that? Jellyfish are older than the dinosaurs and they've been around for over 500 million years. Nearly 2,500 jellyfish made their way to space aboard Space Shuttle Columbia in 1991. Guess they wanted to see how they acted in space. There's theories out there that jellyfish and octopus actually are from some parasite or bacteria that came from space. Jellyfish can be found in all five oceans. There are over 200 species of jellyfish and some of them are edible. All right, let's see what else November 3rd has given us. 1903, with the encouragement of the United States, Panama separates from Colombia. Yeah, did you know Panama used to be part of Colombia? Not a lot of people know that. 1908, William Howard Taft is elected the 27th president of the United States. 1911, Chevrolet officially enters the automobile market in competition with Ford's Model T. 1936, Franklin D. Roosevelt is elected president of the United States, possibly one of the best presidents we've ever had. Now, everyone has their opinions on presidents. It always seems to be the ones that bubble to the top are Washington, Lincoln, Roosevelt, and Reagan. Those always seem to be the ones that everyone thinks was just a great president. 1943, World War II, 500 aircraft of the 8th Air Force devastate Wilhelm Haven, Wilmshelhaven, Haven, Wilmshelhaven, Wilmshelhaven, Harbor in Germany, Wilmshelhaven, Wilmshelhaven, Wilmshelhaven Harbor in Germany. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. That's a rough one. 1960, the land that would become the Great Swamp National Wild Refuge is established by an act of Congress after a year-long battle that pitted local residents against the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey officials, wishing to turn the Great Swamp into a major regional airport for jet aircraft. That is a big chunk of land just outside of Newark, New Jersey, just to the east. 1986, the Compact of Free Association becomes law, granting the Federated States of Micronesia and the Marshall Islands independence from the United States. Yeah, it's not just England and the Dutch that had little territories all over the globe. The United States has quite a few of their own. And a few, like Micronesia and the Marshall Islands, we let them do the self-rule. I mean, I don't know if we let them. Seems like they just wanted it to happen, so it did. 1992, Democratic Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton defeats Republican President George H.W. Bush and independent candidate Ross Perot in the 1992 United States presidential election. <laughs> This was a mind-blowing election year, I would say. Everyone in the very beginning thought H.W. Bush was a shoe in He was the incumbent president. Bill Clinton was too young. People didn't really think they needed him, you know, that young of a president. And then there's Ross Perot, who kind of seemed crazy most of the time. And then Bill Clinton won. It was quite an amazing time, quite an amazing election. In that election, Bill Clinton went on to win some places that not a lot of Democrat presidents actually win. He won Montana, which is normally red. He won Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, his own state, so that's an easy one. Louisiana, he also won Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, and West Virginia. I think the most amazing ones out of that whole election was Montana, that is always red. Kentucky and West Virginia are about as red as they get, especially these days. And Louisiana, Louisiana's another shocker. In the end, Bill Clinton got 370 electoral votes and Bush only got 168. 
2014, One World Trade Center officially opens in New York City, replacing the Twin Towers after they were destroyed during the September 11th attacks. 2020, the 2020 United States presidential election takes place between Democrat Joe Biden and Republican incumbent President Donald Trump. On November 7th, Biden was declared the winner. Movies released on November 3rd, 2006, Borat. A popular Kazakhstani reporter comes to America to film a documentary about what makes the country so great. As he travels from the East Coast to the West Coast, he encounters one outrageous situation after the next. Now, they make this movie look like it's a real documentary, and it's Sasha Baron Cohen. He it, He's just strange, and he's really good at tricking people into believing that he's just some weird dude from another country. Borat was an amazingly weird movie. If you ever get a chance, watch it. Uh, if you don't have a funny bone, you know, you're immune from humor, don't watch it. Born on November 3rd, 1900, Adolf Dassler. German entrepreneur best remembered as the founder of the sportswear company Adidas. He brought the company to international prominence by equipping athletes with Adidas gear during the Olympic Games beginning in the 1920s. He was originally trained as a cobbler, like a shoemaker, after World War I. He originally founded Adidas as the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory along with his brother in 1924. He was a member of the Nazi party and designed the boots for the Unified Armed Forces of Germany during World War II. His brother is Puma founder Rudolf Dassler. Runner Jesse Owens won four gold medals wearing Adidas shoes at the 1936 Summer Olympics. Died on November 3rd, 1926, Annie Oakley, sharpshooter who starred in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. She could consistently shoot playing cards from 27 meters away. Her story has been adapted into the musical Annie Oakley, Get Your Gun. She's been in all kinds of, well, characters played her, but she's also been in a bunch of other movies. She is arguably the first American woman to be a superstar. Thomas Edison filmed an exhibition of her shooting called The Little Sure Shot of the Wild West. She married traveling show marksman Frances E. Butler after having a showdown in August of 1876. Oakley's health was on the decline in 1925 and she died of anemia in Greenville, Ohio at the age of 66 on November 3rd, 1926. Here's some of the actresses that played her in different movies. Barbara Stanwyck played Oakley in the film Annie Oakley, 1935. Gail Davis played the fictionalized version of Oakley in the television series Annie Oakley from 1954 to 1956. Jamie Lee Curtis portrayed her in Tall Tales and Legends in 1985, and Reba McIntyre played her in Buffalo Girls in 1996. Bernadette Peters played her in the title role of the Broadway revival of Annie Get Your Gun. Very interesting. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.